Hi guys, I'm Mandy and this is Luca Red Tarot. This message is about a, it looks like a beautiful, um, something that happened between you and someone who maybe it feels almost like a, like it was a dream. Maybe you wonder almost like if, was it even real or something? And I say that because of the song that I got when I started to get into the energy of this reading and pull some cards out before I started just to save a little time. Okay, so the song I got was Ceilings by Lizzie McAlpine. I think that's how you say that. And the lyrics. So look up that song, listen to it, check out the lyrics. But um, she says things like, lovely to be sitting here with you. You're kind of cute, but it's raining harder. My shoes are now full of water. Lovely to be rained on with you. It's kind of cute, but it's so short. Then you're driving me home and I don't want to leave, but I have to go. You kiss me in your car and it feels like the start of a movie I've seen before. So that was so interesting. And that was just a few of the lyrics. I've never heard that song. So this song is very significant to this reading, even if you haven't heard it before. But the part about please excuse my nails i'm in the middle of taking a set off buffing them out and putting a new set on so they look horrible so just ignore that okay so we got the chariot and the lovers here and these two cards here really represent the whole like what she was saying about because the chariot card can represent like a car and then these lovers here this card came out and it looks like they're about to kiss maybe it never quite made it to the stage that you were hoping it would go to this could be there could be a biracial um, you could be biracial or this could be a interracial relationship it doesn't have to be but i'm just noticing the horses and the people here are both different colors <laughs> no big deal if that's not your situation but wow all these colors here it does like the colors it does make me think of a movie. And then with this sun card here, and I just seen 222 on the timer. So we got Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, well, all the signs are out here. All right, so the Page of Wands came out first. And then the Four of Swords. So it's almost like waiting on a message that never came. But I mean, it looks like it finally did come through. I'm gonna keep pulling to see what else comes out. But I feel like there was a lot of love here. I don't know if it ever made it to anything here. All right, so let's, let's keep going. I'm gonna pull out some more cards to see what is going on here. But the this connection felt like a movie to you is what I'm getting. Or maybe something about movies is, is significant to you in this connection here. Wow. Traveling is what I'm seeing here. There could have been a lot of traveling done. And I'm seeing 333 on the timer. Maybe you had to travel to see this person. Maybe you travel around the world. Or maybe you want to with this two of wands that's like a... Kind of like a goal, setting a goal. But it, with this Ten of Wands here, that's the only card that came out here that I didn't like. So, and then if you listen to the song at the end of it, she says, let me see. But it's over, then you're driving me home, and it kind of comes out as I get up to go. You kiss me in your car and it feels like the start of a movie I've seen before, but it's not real and you don't exist. And I can't recall the last time I was kissed. It hits me in the car and I feel like the end, and it feels like the end of a movie I've seen before. Wow. That is so interesting. So now like just, just going by that song, it's like, did it even happen? Maybe that's how you're feeling. Did it even happen? 444 on the timer. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit, please. Tell me more. The Queen of Wands. So we got the King and the Queen of Wands here. There's a lot. 
And we got the King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I'm gonna turn on my light, one second. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Um, Maybe this was a friend. Maybe, you know, maybe you or this person was married, possibly with the devil card, or, uh, you know, there could be fear involved. Like, let's see. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this connection and what needs to be revealed about it. Yeah. Okay, so with the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and then the Nine of Pentacles, whoops, I about dropped it. I'm seeing 555 on the timer. Okay, so with 555 coming out, that's telling me that something about this situation could be changing or could have changed. And we got the Five of Swords here. Hmm. It looks like somebody's starting a new journey. Maybe somebody's getting single here. It's like someone wants to be heard here, but they're not being heard. Or that could be your spirit guys trying to get something through to you also. You're very good at something. With the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles, that's a lot of Virgo energy. Um, Aquarius with the Fool here, but you're very good at something. You're very abundant here. It's like you're on another level. <laughs> you're on another level that a lot of people you know, can only dream of getting to. Or if you're not yet, that's where you're going. She's levitating. Maybe this encounter with this person made you feel like you were levitating. Hmm. Tell me more. Ten of Cups with the King of Swords. Okay, so now we got the King and Queen of Swords. So there definitely could be like a family situation here that that you're moving on from. Or this could be this person on your mind. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put all these back because <laughs> there's, there's a few people in this energy I'm seeing so it could be a case where there's two people who both have, you know, families or something like that, possibly. I'm seeing a lot of new opportunities and love coming in for you with both these aces out here. So since that song, the end of it, it was like the whole, th the whole song, the whole situation, I feel like was kind of confusing for you. Wow, we got the emperor again here. Okay, so spirit, what needs to be known about this or any other situation going on here? The king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Show me what needs to be known about this situation right now. And I've seen the judgment card and that judgment card looks like somebody's letting go of something, releasing something here. All right, so please show me clearly what needs to be known, what guidance can be given at this time. The Four of Wands, that's a beautiful card. Beautiful energy. With the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, this does feel like maybe the ending of a family situation, maybe moving, you know, I do, I am feeling like maybe there was a marriage or a long-term uh commitment that's ended here i was just noticing her hair there i've never noticed the braid but uh so this could be you or someone on your mind that is going through this so you'll know where to fit you know the energies here as i as i describe things and people okay so we got the six of cups the seven of pentacles and the devil here Capricorn energy with this three of swords at the bottom of the deck. It looks like uh, possibly someone from your past is on your mind or you're on their mind. The Knight of Pentacles here. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A lot of Earth energy is coming through. And I feel like, you know, you're a very stable person, it appears to be. You've put in a lot of work at something. So the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Somebody here is maybe experiencing dreams that are disturbing. With those cards. Wow. Okay. So a lot of times the first cards that come out for me are like the past energy. Three of Swords with the Judgment here. So there was a lot of heartache and pain in this in the past. Okay, with this justice card here, Libra energy. This specific justice card, not all of them, but just this one, to me lately, it's been, and it may change, but for, to, for now and to me lately, it's like, oh my gosh. If you look in the, uh, the mirror back there, it kind of looks like eyes reflecting. You see that? That's so crazy. I see stuff like that all the time. Okay, so 11-11 on my timer. So there's something that's not seen here about this person. There's something under the, uh, I don't want to say something they're hiding, but maybe I was supposed to say that, okay? And it's funny how I mentioned those eyes as I was talking about this card that I'm noticing how it it's refocusing. Okay, it's like... Maybe you're seeing another side of someone that you didn't see before. Is what I'm getting here. <laughs> Sometimes when this card comes out for me, it's like uh, the, the spirit guys or the universe saying, yeah, that's it. Wow. Hmm. This does look like it was a significant, you know, soulmate in your life here with the two of cups and the emperor. Now the emperor... With that devil card, this knight of wands, and that justice card, this person definitely could have been wearing a mask in some kind of way. I'm seeing 12, 12 on the timer. The seven of this seven of wands, not all seven of wands, but this one here to me is like you you had to be protected from something or someone. And I'm seeing two, two, two on the timer. It's like your spirit team, the universe, whatever you resonate with, felt the need or yourself the need to surrounds you with this bubble of protection the need for prayer meditation and stuff and then we got the eight of pentacles and yes again surrounded by a bubble of protection and then with this i, I should have said it a minute ago but i do feel like there could be something significant about a pet here uh there could be something significant about a um a pet that maybe you had when you were a kid or something that um is is still around you in the spirit realm with these two cards here along with possibly a father or grandfather figure 13 13 on the timer so two fours and there's another four you might be seeing four 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 but fours um a lot of times represent like family and things like that. So Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm on, this is just things I'm seeing from the bottom of the deck and stuff. But okay, so back to this. You let go of a heartbreak. You've been getting over a heartbreak, I feel. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles with this Queen of Pentacles coming out. Okay, the Three of Wands. Something beautiful is coming in for you. It's like as I pull those cards out, the uh, the sun kind of shone even brighter on these cards here. And it seems to be kind of highlighting that you have get, you're getting over some kind of heartbreak, okay? It could have been somebody you were dealing with in the past who was controlling or, you know, manipulative or something like that. That's not what the devil always means, but that's what I'm getting here. Something about your birthday could be significant. Or a mother or father's birthday or something. We got the lovers here, Gemini energy. What else? The king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm.
The Knight of Wands with the Three of Cups. Okay, so with the Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like that you are coming up on something. There's some kind of new beginning, new offer here. Um, <laughs> she looks like she's, you know, about to go surfing or something here. She's on the beach here. Something, something beautiful is coming in. It's like a beautiful connection is coming in here. I don't know about this Knight of Wands. Let's see what this is about. Because that can be good or it can be kind of hmm, iffy. Wait a minute. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, and I'm seeing 555 five, five on the timer. I'm seeing this Three of Pentacles, which by itself can be a good card. But with the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups, it's making me feel like possibly a third party. Also with that Knight of Wands. So then I'm seeing this nine of cups and it's like beautiful. Like she nine of cups is wish fulfillment. It's a, a wish granted. And here she's got the pot of gold behind her. She's jumping for joy. It's like the sun is behind her. And then boom, it's like the moon, like knocked off your feet in love. And then this nine of swords energy, which kind of makes me think of that song even more. Like maybe there was some gaslighting, love bombing or something going on. You put a lot of your energy and time into this situation, I feel. Okay, or this, because I did say like this could be future energy. Now remember, any of this can be past, present, or future. So keep that in mind. But the Seven of Swords, I don't like either. So anybody who is a is around you now or you know in the near future just be be cautious of uh people who are you know anything like this like what i'm describing like the the devil here he's got and i'm seeing 17 17 on the timer he's got um he's pulling the strings here like he wants you to be his puppet or something Mm, okay. I'm going to switch decks now. Let's see here. All right, Spirit. Tell me what is going on with this right here. And I'm talking about the... What is this with the... Because it looks like something beautiful is going on. And then, bam. It's just weird behavior. I don't like that. Okay. Spirit, tell me more about this moon and this Nine of Cups. Cancer Pisces energy. Child. Okay, somebody could be immature. It could be an age difference. Imprisonment. Adjudication. Journey. Despair. And courtship. Right. Okay. And so what I'm getting with this is that someone in, you know, someone in your energy, this could be past, present, or future. It's like they're, I, I feel like you could be, you know, they definitely could be on your mind a lot. Um, it's almost like this person, um, Like they're childish and that's, you know, that's hurtful, that's depressing is what I'm getting. And the thief coming up here at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what else we get. There's the dog again. Or another dog. Pathway. Message. Family room. Concern and wealthy man. I kind of felt like that wanted to come out. False person. Mature man. Okay. I feel like I'm dealing with more than one energy here, kind of. So there could be one from the past and one, you know, in the future here. Or present. I feel like there's someone that you've already let go of or you're working on letting go of. And then this um 
So I don't know if I mentioned there could be an age difference here or somebody could just be immature. Okay, tell me more spirit, please. Tell me more about this situation. Any messages? All right, we got the wheel of fortune. And justice, and justice was at the bottom of the deck. Libra energy, the hierophant, Taurus energy, nine of cups. Let's keep it going good now, come on. <laughs> Queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <clears throat> wow, okay, now this is crazy, look at this. This picture, as the light is shining brighter through my window right now, that card comes out. The light is gonna be shown on something here. I don't know if there was some kind of, oh wow. <laughs> and look at this one. I can barely see from the glare. I hope you can see that. But this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles is about your abundance, your stability. There could be somebody who's, um, you know, you could be going through some kind of court situation or someone on your mind could be. Um, But it looks like there's going to be, um, if you can get pregnant, be careful about that. But, you know, if you're not, if that's not anything you're concerned about for whatever reason, don't worry about it. But um, you could just be coming up as the empress, which means you're in your empress energy. Um, so it may or may not have anything to do with pregnancy. Okay, so the Nine of Cups here, it's like with these cards here, things are about to turn in your favor. I feel like you might have been getting kind of screwed around by somebody in the past here. Somebody who was um, manipulating you, other people around the situation, maybe um, trying to get people to see things their way or something like that. Um, but it looks like the, the slate is gonna be wiped clean. And you're going to get some kind of wish. The devil. Capricorn energy again. Yes. It's like you're getting freed from the devil here. Wow. Or somebody on your mind is. Something is coming to light here. I don't know if I said Leo and Capricorn, but that's the energy here. This could even be being freed from a certain state of mind that you're just gonna feel like fresh and new here. Wow. As I say that, we got the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So that just means that what I just said is true. Yeah. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so we got the Knight of Wands with the Three of Pentacles here. I just seen 23, 23 on the timer. Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands came out before. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands and Three of Pentacles. Okay. Well, this Knight of Wands, I'm not getting a bad energy about so far. Okay. So this could be somebody who, there could be an age difference here. There don't have to be, but this looks like, this looks like to almost like going on a, uh, a spa trip or something, something beautiful like that. Some kind of relaxing, you know, on the beach type thing here. And then you come across this, this beautiful specimen here on the beach or something. That's what I'm getting. Okay. All right. You come together with this person and then we got the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Success. So... Let's see, tell me more about this. Queen of Pentacles. What else? All right, so. All right, so we got the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and then the Eight of Cups. I feel like, you know, beware beware of this knight of wands because the seven of swords is about um 
dishonesty. I feel like there could possibly be someone in your energy who I just don't like their intentions. Or, you know, maybe you're going to be the one that's like, I don't like the way this feels and you're going to walk away from this person. It's like you suddenly, you realize you had an epiphany here that somebody was not the person that they, that you thought they were, maybe. You meditated on it, you thought about it, you maybe even dreamed about it. Magician. With the strength card. There's a lot of major arcana here. Temperance, Sagittarius. And the tower, okay. Tell me more about this, please. Three of Cups. The Page of Swords. Okay, the, the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. What I'm getting here, again, is... Now, this could be one person. It could be more than one person. But, oh, man. This this is a beautiful Two of Cups. And it's about a... um. It's about a soulmate energy that um, you've come across or you will come across. And this this card here, like, it makes me think of uh, the Titanic. Like, you know, that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe this was, uh, I don't know if this was someone who, you know, maybe you had a, a beautiful connection with someone and they're on the other side now. I'm not really sure, but I feel like... It ended. And sometimes the Seven of Swords can be like something that you feel like was. It doesn't always have to be about deceit. Sometimes it's about something you feel that was taken away from you. With this Nine of Wands and the fact that we had a couple of these night of. Uh, I meant to say nine of wands with this nine of wands and the fact that we had a couple of these knight of wands come out what I would say is be careful about running into the same person in different bodies over and over like with this um, nine of swords here we've had the nine of swords come up a couple of times you might be seeing nine 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 three 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 four 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 seven 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 the devil keeps coming out. I feel like the devil, you know, and I'm not, when I say the devil, I'm not talking about the devil of the Bible. If y'all resonate with that, that's fine. But what I'm talking about is the energy of the devil. This person, there is a person that keeps coming back into your life. It's not the same person every time, or it could be the same person coming back, coming back. But it feels more like, yeah, the six of cups coming up a couple of times. The same person could keep trying to come back, or it could be like, you keep encountering the same type of person, this false person here, and you don't even really realize it until you're, you know, deep into your feelings about it is what I'm getting. Wow. As I say that, the Ace of Cups comes out. The Ace of Cups is a beautiful card um, representing love. Okay. Death card at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Scorpio energy. So, Justice. Libra. I saw the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. That's Taurus. Eight of one, Sagittarius. Okay. Yes, I'm, yeah. And this card, it was meant to come out because it came out. Hmm. It's like you have such a loving heart. I feel like there's a situation really that just really comes back and haunts you. It's almost like, Okay, with this particular seven of wands at the bottom of the deck, I'm getting that, you know, there could have been some kind of separation that happened and it was because, you know, spirit knew that you were going to keep putting all your love into this situation, this person, and they were going to keep being sneaky and doing sneaky shit behind your back or their, their intentions and their motives are, you know, there's something that the universe don't like. It's not your vibration and this person's vibration are not adding up. <laughs> okay, is what I'm getting. Yeah, and it's like this, put a knife in it, put a fork in it, this turkey's done. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. Judgment from the world, like from the universe here. 
Queen of Cups. You will not. It's like the universe. You're coming up as the Queen of Cups again. You're coming up as the Empress and the Queen of Cups. Um, so that might not so much have anything to do with any a pregnancy or anything like that. It's got to do with your loving heart here. Like you provide, like the kind of love you give here. It's like you, you give your all. Wow. You give your all and you might get kind of wrapped up in the, the romance of things, you know, because that's just the type of person that you are. The five of wands and it kind of, it messes with your energy, I feel like. The five of swords with the magician. You could be dealing with like, you know, I thought a card dropped, but I don't see it. Like these people that, okay, so one thing that the magician with these, so we got like, could be seeing five, 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 but hmm, I think you might realize that a lot and you, you kind of regret, maybe you feel like, well, I should have known better than that. You know, that's the thought I'm getting. And we all feel like that at times, I think. I'm pretty sure we all do. But what I'm getting here, though, is it's almost like Spirit is saying that these energy, like, get out of your head about this shit because this, wow. So we got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. The lovers popped out. And then we got this Ten of Swords. So it's like what Spirit is saying is kind of like, maybe maybe there's okay so i'm seeing the marriage card again okay so there's a, there's like a choice that needs to be be made here maybe you know some kind of ending has to take place so that you can come into this new love what the universe has for you somebody yeah now we got three five so five 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 tell me more The Queen of Wands with the Four of Cups. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And the Four of Pentacles. I'm getting like, protect your energy from somebody. Another five. Yeah. Okay, so. All right, let's see here. Wow, we got the king and queen of wands with the lovers, the six of wands, and then the four of wands with this five of cups here. Hmm. So there, there could be more than one person on your mind here, definitely. I feel like um, maybe, you know, if maybe you were, it looks like there was a relationship here that you really wanted to work out. And I'm seeing this Cupid's arrow here at the bottom of the deck that you really wanted to work out, but it didn't work out how you wanted it to. And it's really, you know, it's really depressing. Or this could be someone's feelings about you. Tell me more, Spirit, please. Show me clearly, please. Yeah, something's definitely ending. Okay, so, uh, like, really cutting the cords on whatever this situation was. Uh, and as I'm saying that, I'm noticing these cords here that the uh, devil's holding there. And it's like, whoa. Okay, so this feels like somebody that's not letting go of you. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Okay, so this could be that you're trying to start this new, you know, relationship. You may already even be in it. And there's somebody on the other hand, uh, on the other end here, like, addicted to you. And I believe I did um, post a couple of videos within the past week or so. I haven't been posting a lot because I've been having a lot of allergy attacks, y'all. I'm sorry about that. But, um... And I, I did keep seeing the death card at the bottom of the deck. Now, unless, you know, this is something, it could be different scenarios because I'm just interpreting the cards that are coming out here, but this could be about, you know, good grief, my hands are dry, excuse me. <laughs> it could be about someone that's on the other side that you loved a lot, you know, that you lost, or it could be somebody, something's ended, something's come to an end here. So you could be, 
if you lost someone, you could be definitely reminiscing over that person. But I do feel it also could be that somebody is heavily holding on to your energy, looking at your pictures and stuff, and you'll feel that if you're highly intuitive. And coming up as the Empress and the Queen of Cups, I feel like you probably are. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval and transformation. That's kind of like the same energy as the tower. You are being protected from somebody. Clock, needs time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal. You're really healing from a situation. So I feel like, I didn't want to say this, but this card came up, so the card said it for me, but I feel like there was, you know, that you were dealing with a narcissist here. Like we all have some narcissist traits, but I feel like you were dealing with a somebody that wasn't just it wasn't just a trade or two okay and i just seen five 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 on the timer um so i feel like what the guidance here is is to be careful about not you know not coming across because i feel like you have a lot of options in love and so be careful about take your time with things that knight of pentacles did come out and so the guidance here is really take your time with things you you have you have such a beautiful, I'm sorry if you hear my grandson in the other room. You have such a beautiful um, heart and a beautiful, I'm going to say imagination that you, you can see how beautiful things could be. But sometimes we put these, you know, hmm, what's the word? We see people and I say we, because I've done it. Okay. We put, we kind of, I'm trying to think how to say this. Well, okay, we view someone as one way, but really they're another. You know, it's the easiest way to say it. Okay, so, yeah, because there's... All right, hold on. I'm going to show you what's at the bottom of the day. The Phoenix, okay? So, somebody's going to try to rekindle something with you. This is also representing you being the rising Phoenix, coming up out of whatever this was in the past, whatever tower moment you went through, healing from that. And then it's like, with not today and not enough, I feel like you could have been dealing with someone who you know, just wasn't giving enough. Maybe you ended the situation, okay? And you don't want to talk to this person. With, um, let me just see what comes out instead of keeping going through the bottom of the deck. Anything else out of this deck, Spirit? Heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Okay. Now that's nice. Tell me more about that. Tell me more about that, please. There we go, love. Talking, okay? A weighted message arrives. Text, call, email. Now, hoovering, it all looks good except for that hoovering part because <laughs> uh, let, we'll just go with the good parts, okay, for now, but keep everything else in mind. Um, All right, so I use that deck already. I'm going to use one more deck, and then I'm going to get some... Uh, messages from your spirit guides deck all right so this deck i just used came from my friend val at light workers together you guys check out her channel follow her she has tarot deck giveaways and lots more i love her a lot okay so we got justice here libra energy tell me more what is coming with this heart with the key and love spirit ten of wands you may see a deer. You might have seen a deer recently. Or you might want to look up the uh, spiritual meaning of deer. I'll, I've been meaning to post that on my community section, actually. Because even if you haven't seen a deer lately, the um, spirit of the deer could be significant to you. Because I've seen about probably 10 in the past two weeks. That's crazy, right? All right, the four of pentacles. All right, so what I'm getting here, let's just... Ooh, the lovers and the eight of wands... The Seven of Wands, the Emperor, what else? The Ace of Pentacles, 
Three of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody definitely, it definitely feels like to me that someone from the past is holding on to your energy or, you know, maybe you're holding on to this person's energy. I'm not sure which side you're on here, but I feel like you can just like, it's like he's, you can see he's holding on tightly to something and this is becoming a burden to whoever this is like, and it's blocking this person from this new beginning that the universe has. Like, even if this is some ex or something that won't let go of you, it's like the universe has someone else for this person, but they won't let go of you. Or that could be your energy, you know, if you're holding on to, but when, when it's like this, um, I've seen this a lot in readings where someone has an ex that really was not ready to let them go when the split up happened or something like that. And they will keep showing up in the readings for a while. And I apologize about that. There's not much I can do about it that I know of yet. You know, I think that y'all got to do the cord cuttings or something like that. So check into that or, um, yeah, check into that. Okay. So I'm going to get some, so if that's you, then what, you know, what I'm saying to you is that the universe is trying to bring you some new love, something beautiful, something, somebody that, you know, deserves all the energy that you put into these relationships. And if it's this ex holding on to your energy, then just disregard all that. And, you know, you know that something beautiful is coming along and they, they could be stalking your social media, things like that. But, you know, they got these heavy burdens on their back. They'll just have to get over it because the universe has something beautiful in store for you. Solitude. This is another deck from Val at Lightworkers Together. So there's a lot of Libra energy here. A lot of things are coming into balance here. Okay, so with the shadow card and the solitude card, I'm getting that you, you know, some time to yourself. We did have the hermit card come out. Maybe like a vacation or a spa time, something like that. Some time out in nature will really help right now to really meditate on these things that's going on about dealing with different people who just don't level up to you to be honest they're not on your level and it's like spirit is you know i'm trying to put the message through me right now is that well like i just said they're not on your level okay and i, I don't mean that in any kind of weird way like people are beneath you but they kind of are you know, because you put so much into these relationships, I'm seeing, and you're you're coming up as an empress, and you know, there's uh, some people here are coming up as knights. Now there is an emperor coming up. That could be the ex I'm getting. So that could be a a co-parent of a child, an ex husband, whatever. But so we got balance here and leadership. I feel like you um. Hmm, this looks almost like a couple coming together too, but. What I'm seeing here is that the universe, uh, God, whatever, like I said, whatever you resonate with, is trying to put you in this uh, position of leadership here. Or maybe you're already in a position of leadership. Balance. Maybe you bring justice to people. Hmm. Life force, Aphrodite. Wow. Tell me more, please. Oh, man, that's a lot. Business, okay? So, yeah, something to do with your work. Decisions. There's a lot of decisions that need to be made here because I'm seeing, like, a lot of suffering going on here. You may feel like there's... You, if you're having a hard time sleeping at night, it could be because there's certain people around you that you can just feel their shitty energy. Like, <laughs> you can almost feel their evil eye, evil eye at you. You know what I'm saying? And you are protected here. Uh, but it's like certain people judge you. Certain people judge you for your decisions or something like that. Uh, or maybe for the decision that you didn't want to be with them or something. It's something You'll know what I'm talking about. There's certain people around you. And then this community card coming up, which normally I would say one thing. But in this case right now, the things that I'm talking about, it's like people in your community that maybe you feel um, 
are jealous of you or, you know, we got the false person, different things like that showing me that, yeah, there are people who are jealous of you. Devotion. I'm really feeling this uh, connection to nature here, especially with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles too. Decisions. Decisions and suffering. What I'm getting from these two cards here is just be real careful about your decisions at this time because I think that you know, sometimes when we follow our heart a little bit too much, they can lead us, you know, into a place of heartbreak because every, just take things slow. That's all you got to do. If you take things slow, then, um, <clears throat> secret spring and success at the bottom of the deck. That's beautiful. Spring just started. But when we take our time with people, you know, if you've known someone for a long time, you get, if somebody's trying to rush you into something, um, or even if you rush into something, you people can have a mask on for a long time and, you know, hide their true character. You know, all these things they can hide for a long time. But if you take your time and make things go slow, well, there's no rush. Why? What's the rush? Ain't no rush in, in a relationship. That's my opinion. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, because if there's anything they are trying to hide from you, then eventually it will come out if you take your time. Dragonfly spirit, change. A lot about change has come up. Wise woman of the grove and grace. Wow. I saw this word on the back of a car the other day, grace. Yeah. The word grace is significant right now, okay? And then secret spring and success came out again. You're going to have some successes here in the springtime and maybe even over the next few days, okay? Mystic Meadow, Sanctuary. I feel like leading to this new success, some kind of new opportunity here is, okay, you could be going through a spiritual awakening with this butterfly spirit and transformation card at the bottom of the deck. And I did see the death card a couple of times, which could represent you're going through this spiritual awakening. You're really seeing people for who they are. I'm seeing that really... There's something, there's something back here, like, in the distance, like, that you, you can't even quite see yet. That's going to be coming in. I just seen 47, 47 on the timer, so that's, yeah, that's two, that's 11, 11, all right. Yes, I had to count that on my fingers. All right, Storm Spirit Chaos. Oh, there's just, there's someone like, we got frog spirit here. I feel like you might've kissed a few frogs now, uh, or frogs try to come your way. This, this card though, I love it. It makes me think of my um aunt who's on the other side now. She used to collect frogs. I even put one in her casket, but, um, the frog spirit to me represents nev not giving up. If you've ever, I've told this story many a times, but um, if you've ever heard the story about the two frogs in the bucket, and this is getting kind of long, so I'm going to try to wrap it up. But the two frogs in the bucket were um, a bucket of milk where they're swimming and swimming and swimming. One gives up, drowns, dies. The other one keeps thinking, you know, don't just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And I just seen 48, 48. Um, so the numbers I say, you might want to look them up as angel numbers, or you might be seeing them. But so the other frog just kept swimming and... Uh, eventually he was sitting there on a pile of butter. So he turned with all his swimming, he turned a pile of butter and he just jumped out of the bucket, went on to live his life. And so whatever this storm that you're going through, you're going to be fine. There's someone on the other side who I feel like is trying to, whoa. Oh my gosh. As I say that, I've never seen this before. Okay, I never have, let me put that where you can kind of see it. I've never seen that before. And I've used this deck a few times already. This guy has not showed up to me until just now. As I was saying, there's someone on the other side who's trying to warn you about someone. 
this could even be um, an animal that's protecting you, but um, because I'm seeing all these animals, but at the same time, I was getting like a, a parent or grandparent energy, or it could just be the universe, the most high, protecting you from somebody. Wow, because of your loving heart. Your loving heart. There's another deer. Look up the spiritual meaning of deer. I looked it up the other day, and I'm going to post uh, the pictures I took in, in the community section and also a little bit of information about the deer. But thank the universe in advance. Thank God in advance. Like I said, your ancestors, whatever you resonate with, thank them in advance because I feel like, yeah, they're trying to call you right now to focus. Focus, go with the flow, and trust everything is going to be okay. <laughs> You've got, you know, something in the spirit realm that's just dancing around you all the time. You know, little butterflies, frogs, fairies, I don't know, birds. <laughs> here, here we go with um, the phoenix again. And... I feel like you're going through some kind of initiation here. And we got transcendent. I know I'm picking a lot of these cards out, but they they seem to be really significant. I feel like spirit is purifying you. Spring is going to be very significant for you, okay? So watch that. Be watching out for the signs and synchronicities because they're all around you all the time. Thank you for being here. Love you guys.